This is Dr. Eric Fishman for EHR-TV, and we're in New Orleans at MGMA 2010. We're speaking with Matt Wildman, director of Cerner Ambulatory. Matt, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Glad to be here. Thank you. If you'd be good enough to spend a few minutes to start talking about Cerner as the global company mm -hmm. and then hone down into the ambulatory space for yeah. a moment. Yeah. First of all, Dr. Fishman, thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you today. Um, many people know Cerner as the organization that was founded 32 years ago, specifically focused uh, within the four walls of, of hospitals and health systems. And we've certainly grown organically substantially um, to the nearly $2 billion organization that we are today. What not everybody is, is aware of that we're spending a lot of time helping to educate the market on is the fact that we've spent the last 15 years focused on the ambulatory market as well. Uh, a significant growth driver for our business overall and our ability to grow as, as an organization and continue to, to deliver the transformation of healthcare that we're seeking. Uh, today we, we have close to 40,000 providers using our ambulatory solutions across the country. Um, over 17,000 of them are on our ambulatory EMR. So we're very proud of, of the growth that we've had over the past uh, few years, but we're certainly looking forward to um, increased growth over the next few years with the tailwind that the meaningful use is providing and, and, and the notoriety that we're gaining in the market. Matt, I uh, certainly understand. I understand that there's recently been a name change, if you will. It, there was a product, Sonar PowerWorks, mm -hmm. with, with which I was familiar, and that would now be called Sonar Ambulatory mm -hmm. EMR? We're, we're branding our overall ambulatory strategy as Cerner Ambulatory, not just PowerWorks. The, the PowerWorks name is, has served us well. Uh, we think that there's, there's a lot of value deriving in a, in a single uh, more unified message of Cerner Ambulatory. Very good. And the 23,000 providers who are using Cerner Ambulatory products who aren't using your EHR, which products are they using? They're using a, uh, a combination of, of practice management systems. Um, in 2004, we acquired the medical division of a company called Vitalworks, uh, which brought with it a small footprint of, of providers that we used to further penetrate our, our um, entrance into this market, many of them have moved over to our go-forward solutions, um, and many, many of them have actually adopted our EMR as well. Do you find that many of your providers are affiliated with hospitals using Sonar technology, or is there not a tremendous correlation in that regard? You know, that's a good question. Years ago, um, several years ago, a lot of our growth came in markets where we had Cerner brand presence and in a relationship with the health system. And it's hard to find markets where we, we haven't. We, we represent um, healthcare technology for, for more than 30% of the beds in the United States today. So we're very proud of our health system and hospital relationships, and we certainly leverage them um, as part of our growth strategy. But we're also uh, pretty successful in markets where we don't have a Cerner hospital um, today. But um, of, of the Cerner health systems and hospitals that we have relationships with today, quite a number of them have actually stepped forward and helped us promote the use of Cerner Ambulatory within, within their community. I was going to ask about that, and maybe this is old news, but with the, the relaxation of the stock laws and the 85% that the hospitals are permitted to provide and funding for the physicians, do you find a sea change of hospitals trying to promote your ambulatory product to their staff, or is it a trickle? Uh, I'd say it's been a pretty big wave of, of momentum in, in, in our favor across these markets. Of course, when the Stark relaxation, Stark law relaxation came out a number of years ago, there was a little bit of wait and see um, uh, mentality that, that came, but slowly as organizations became more and more comfortable with the tax laws and, and the impact of their organization, we've seen a pretty big wave of organizations um, step forward and endorse Cerner Ambulatory Solutions within their community. Not all of them will subsidize under Stark. A good portion of them will, um, but a loud endorsement of our capabilities within a community is also uh, a good growth driver for us. Matt, let's address the, the relationship between hospitals and a hospital information technology team and their staff physicians who may be using Cerner Ambulatory products. Um, one of our big value propositions, Dr. Fishman, is the ability to utilize the same solution or a very comparable solution within your practice that you're familiar with using within the four walls of the hospital. With Cerner having such a large penetration of hospitals across the country, many of those providers are intimately familiar with the technology um, and have s sought an opportunity to, to utilize the same technology within their practice. There's a, there's a continuity factor that's very comforting to them as they adopt a new electronic medical record within their practice that the, the learning curve is, is substantially reduced, um, the ability to interoperate 
between their practice and the hospital seamless. information is very seamless. Uh, let's switch gears for a few moments and talk about what everybody else is talking about, which is the stimulus funding, meaningful use. And tell us about that issue from Sona's perspective. Yeah, it's obviously a critical component of, of our strategy in this market, and we're watching it very closely today. We've, we've, we've deployed a team of individuals who wake up every day and, and study the legislation and help educate the rest of the organization on positioning ourselves to make sure that we are the stable, long-term partner that our clients uh, desire. And so one of the... Um, the elements of our um, story is the fact that we will always get our, our providers to meaningful use, whatever those standards may be as they evolve. Um, and let, let me interrupt you right there because it's an interesting question. Do you find that the 864 pages, the meaningful use uh, regulations, does that change materially what product Sonu is delivering? Do no, you it does not. It does not. We, have, we, have, we are ensuring that our, our technology will meet the requirements of that legislation and those standards as they evolve over time. Uh, what we want to do, we want to tell a story to our both current and prospective clients uh, that Cerner is a long-term partner, that Cerner is a stable partner. Um, as we've grown, we've grown um, for the most part organically as an organization um, and have proven that we can weather um, a lot of storms. As we, as we move into the meaningful use era, um, we will absolutely provide the same level of comfort to our clients that that we will get them to meaningful use um, as those standards evolve. Matt, obviously there's a lot of powerful technology within Cerno Ambulatory. Let's take another level down and step back and speak about how the technology helps physicians provide better care to the patients that they're mm -hmm. taking care of. Yeah, important question. We've spent a lot of time and, and, and generated a lot of uh, improvement in our, in our technology over the past few years. We've spent several hundred million dollars over the last 10 years investing in our research and development at the core, making the physician experience uh, more automated and really aligning the workflow of our technology to meet the specific needs of, of physician and clinician users um, in our base. We've, we've done a lot of work within the, the technology itself to um, make it easier for them to treat their patients, thus deriving, you know, creating better patient care along the way. One of the, one of the items that we've recently announced at our annual health conference several weeks ago in Kansas City is our inclusion of our semantic search within, within our electronic medical record, which makes it very easy to go search whatever you would need to search for within a patient's record uh, at your fingertips. Think Google uh, when you go to the internet to search for whatever you may need to, to find. Um, we have embedded that capability within our technology um, at no additional expense to our network, um, but that will put the power of the, the robustness of the EMR at their fingertips thus creating better patient safety because the providers have access to information in a much more timely fashion. So if I can uh, translate that, if you will, uh, if there were a narrative that is either typed or spoken in voice recognition technology is used to produce a word document, if you will, the semantic capabilities that Cerner now has will allow that narrative to be uh, interpreted as data mm -hmm. and searchable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. W these records become so large and so immense over time, it becomes very cumbersome for a provider to find information that they're looking for if the patient doesn't readily remember something uh, during their visit. So empowering them with the ability to go quickly search through their entire history very uh, is very powerful. Something Great. that we're very proud of and we believe is a pretty big value proposition for, for Cerner Ambulatory. Matt, anything else that you'd care to add? Thank you very much for the time, Dr. Fishman. I appreciate the opportunity to, to, to educate your listeners a little bit more about Cerner Ambulatory. Uh, like I said before, we couldn't be more excited about the future of this market and the future of our success in this market and growing our, our network of providers. An exciting time. Yes, very much. This is Dr. Eric Fishman with EHR-TV. We've been speaking with Matt Wildman, Director of Cerner Ambulatory. Thank you. <laughs>